Well, we did it. 500 plus followers. We hit 589 as of now. That's crazy. Over the last like three days, a huge boost. I appreciate everyone following, uh, subscribing, all that good stuff. Take a look at my shorts. My recent shorts is the winner of the contest. Shout out to the winner. Uh, with the giveaway, I was trying to send the cards, but apparently right now on so Rare, you can't just send a, an offer for nothing. I believe they may have changed that. So uh, reach out to me if you're the winner. Same thing uh, with the Twitter winner. Uh, I'm going to DM them as well so that we can get that taken care of. It might be just me sending you some ETH to send to me uh, to make the transaction. So uh, we'll have to see with that. Make sure that that goes through, obviously, and get going. So today's video is on the key gameplay updates for so Rare Football. So uh, a lot to dive into here. My first comment is I feel bad for the Asia League players. You got the raw end of the stick here. Uh, just kind of my knee-jerk reaction from the beginning, that change of time kind of really puts a fork in what you're doing. Uh, these split game weeks could be terrible. If you have two games in one game week, your utility goes way downhill. So uh, as a guy who doesn't own any Asia players, but I was planning to put an Asian squad together, uh, it doesn't affect me at all. So, you know, for that, I guess that's okay. But for the kind of entire quality of the site, Asia is a big part of the site and what we can do. Uh, rewards. The J League has not been signed yet. Everything I've seen uh, on Twitter is it looks like they will get the job done uh, to bring them back. That's a big thing because you take leagues out. They will be covered as far as their cars, but rewards go away. So you're going to be battling for an insane amount of entries for very little cards. So very important that we keep Asia in the loop. Same thing with America. If we start losing teams, uh, it, it can kind of go all to waste. Europe, obviously, is where the bulk of the competitions are. Europe is never in danger. Uh, knock on wood. But I, I really think we need to keep Asia together. I think there has to be a little bit of a change. You, you can't take the utility out of these cards for the Asian players. Um, but other than that, let's, let's dive into this. There's a lot of things going on here. A lot of kind of... For new users, this is daunting. For users like me, it's still daunting. Uh, it's a little bit tough to kind of make sense of it. I'm sure it'll make more sense as we go. So league-specific competitions, I love it. I love league-specific. Uh, starting with Game Week 340, says here that they will have a bunch of different things. I love the MLS-specific league. That's going to be awesome. So they are phasing out commons. So if you have a a common in your gallery they are phasing those out and getting into more of the draft base which i love the draft base competitions great stuff uh this is for amateurs things like that so you're going to select eight players with a 400 point cap uh the l5 last 15 score determines their point value uh as you can see there their budget points value is set as 40 if it's less uh, maximum of two players for clubs so no stacks and uh, you can card swap throughout. So the new chapter I just talked about, there's still the academy, there's still casual and uh, daily drops. So if you're familiar with the NBA side, this seems like they're kind of getting into the NBA side with daily drops and things like that, which is interesting, uh, especially with the capped mode. You'll see that we do a ton of capped mode and it's a little bit hard to kind of follow, but uh, that's very interesting. Then we have league specific semi-pro. So, uh, once a ma manager has mastered the common draft and won their first limited, it's time for you to step up the ladder. So they're really trying to hammer home progression here. So, uh, kind of progressing each stage, which I, I really think is important to sustainability on the, on the site. Uh, you want to kind of work yourself up no matter what level you're in. So like for me, my gallery personally, uh, as far as I'm in rare, yes, I have a, two super rares. But that's why I need that rare pro. And then hopefully I can turn that into eventually playing super rare uh, and then kind of going from there. You know, I don't think unique is in the cards for me ever, but, you know, it'd be nice to be able to earn your way up to it. And it's uh, kind of very, very interesting as far as that. And then step three, uh, 270 capped as far as that, uh, where one common is allowed. So it kind of gets you into the uh gets you into the site and i think for onboarding if it's kind of i'll definitely make videos on how to do this uh, because i think it is daunting if just getting started and not kind of knowing anything about the site definitely need to do that so amateur semi-pro pro 270 
here's the little screenshot here. So uh, there's your common five common, then one limited four common, four or five limited, uh, you can use one common for the Pro 270 as it sees there. So these are league specific players only. So you're only playing one league. I, I really like the idea of league specific. You can get kind of stuck into one league, which is great. And then step four, uh, your expertise. So capped competitions are huge now. So they're just gonna be capped in every single rarity all the way through. You can earn thresholds uh, as far as ETH bonuses. It's gonna be very tough in the capped modes, but uh, you're allowed to. It's similar to All-Star uh, where you can hit the number that you have to hit. Uh, currently it's 205 and 250. But as you can see here, let's take a look at this graphic. Cap 220, four limited, one common. Any player, 220 cap points, no XP or captain score bonuses. Cap 240, five limited. Any player, 240. Cap 270, 270. XP applies, any player, five limited. And then all-star and regions, standard. Uh, nothing new with that, just standard competitions. And then you have kickoff. You win one rare, one rare and four limited. Uh, I believe you can only have, as I read this, if you have more than 10 or 10 or more rares, you're ineligible for kickoff. So that's good to kind of pe keep people out. Uh, that shouldn't be in there. Permanent kickoff competitions, that's going as well. And then here's this, uh, I mean this, to be honest, yeah, I, I love that they're rolling things out, but this is so confusing for a new user. And honestly, it's pretty confusing if you kind of don't really know what's going on. So this basically is just a map of the progression ideas of what's going on. So we have our limit at the top, cap 220. Hopefully you do well in cap 220 to move to cap 240, get some better players, cap 270, and then your all-star in your regions. So that's your Asia, America, your current champ Europe, uh, challenger Europe, all those. You win a rare card, you can play kickoff. So you can use one rare and four limited to use there. Then you go to cap 220, cap 240, cap 270, and then all stars and regions. So your standard, what we're talking about, uh, just rare. If you're playing under 23s, that would be your all star and regions, those things. Then you win a super rare card. You can play kickoff. Uh, so as my understanding, if you have less than 10 or less super rares, you can play this. So I can play this if I would like to. Uh, I'm hoping they keep around Rare Pro. This kind of scares me that they won't have Rare Pro. And I really think that's a good way of onboarding as well to have that opportunity to build up. The more divisions there are, as long as there's good prizes for you know as many as you can have, the more spread out your teams are going to be. So these guys with great galleries, you know, they can spread it out over a bunch, but you're not going to play these elite in every single contest. You'll have capped players. Cap 220 is going to be tough. It's you're not going to have Mbappe in Cap 220. You're just not, uh, unless there's like players of L15 coming off injury that are you know your Florian Wirtz. Uh, it's not going to happen. You're not going to be able to fit it. So I, I like the idea of this. It'll be very interesting how this goes. And I think, in my opinion, this is great for all the cards on the site. The more utility every card has. So like some of these terrible cards, but if it has an L15 of, I don't know, 30. Okay. I know it was great for specials before. Even plugging that in can help your team out. Then you can get some of your higher level guys. Uh, and then obviously on the unique that keeps going there. So new leaderboards as well, uh, as far as kind of similar to the Serra Global Cup. Interesting. Um, I guess it's cool, you know, that won't be a big seller for me, but I guess it's cool with the VIP experiences uh, and things like that to meet your favorite players, things like that. Uh, I think that's Europe-based players will be interested in that. You know, I'm probably not gonna fly over there to take advantage of that, but if they fly you out, that'd be great. Um, but, you know, that's probably something I won't pay attention to, but not saying it's not a great thing. Revamping the manager homepage. Some of the UI is, uh, interesting to say the least hopefully that looks good upgrading the club shop i don't do much with that but i guess that's cool uh aesthetically cool training i really hope you can just <laughs> make it so much easier i did downsize my gallery significantly so as far as that it doesn't really bother me throwing like 10 lineups in training is i mean some people are putting hundreds and hundreds in that's probably really annoying with xp being gone in a lot of these modes 
training, they should just auto do it <laughs> at this point. Uh, deadlines and rewards timing. So like I said, that's where that Asia comes in. Um, yeah, uh, they want to improve it. I get it to some extent. It's basically tailored to the Europe community. They want to allow you to get news before lineup lock. I know at some t some points news comes out, um, but I'm fine with the other deadlines, to be honest. Uh, as far as me, like I said, I don't have anything going on in Asia, uh, but it doesn't bother me those locks before. Um, if you want to get an edge, if you're in the US, so Eastern time for me, you could set an alarm for 5 a.m., 4 a.m., check lineups, and then do it. That's kind of, whenever I played Asia Limited, that's what I did. Uh, if you want to be successful and get an edge on players who don't do that, you got to wake up. Uh, if you don't want to do that, don't play Asia. and Or just put all your Asian players in one lineup, and if it's burnt, it's burnt. It is what it is. So a lot of new rollouts here. Very interesting. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I just want to kind of go through there. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense for new users. And hopefully we continue on this journey. Almost at 600 followers, I uh, subscribers here. I appreciate everything that you guys are doing. And let's keep it rolling. See you next time.